Welcome in the fourth section of our course. In this section, we'll be looking at the boundary matcher and pattern class methods. So there will be a scheme and list of everything that is related to those two concepts and is already built in in the regular expressions API. First concept that we will be looking at is using boundary matcher to match the beginning and the end of the line. So sometimes we want to match a sequence that occurs at a specific place in the text in the input that we are matching. So this is boundary matcher for. Next, we'll be creating regular expression with word boundary. So this will be a bit different concept, but also using the same technique. First video will be about leveraging pattern case insensitive and pattern canon equals. So this will be the beginning of patterns and we'll do a list of other important patterns. And for example, we'll be looking at the pattern comments in the fourth video. Last video will be using pattern literal and pattern multiline. Multiline is very useful when you want to match against sentence or something that is split by the specific character. This is a first video in which we'll be using boundary matcher to match the beginning and the end of the specific line. So at the beginning, we'll be understanding concept of boundary matcher. We'll be using end line matcher and also, of course, start line matcher to have both concepts. So let's consider the beginning of the line matcher. So here we are creating our literal, that is a cat. So this is a literal regular expression, but before the cat, we are using the dash sign. Dash sign is used in regular expression in multiple contexts. That's why it is important to understand when to use that dash sign and what does it mean. So if you don't remember, let's go to the previous video once again. But here we can see that cat and dash before that. It means that this specific cat word should be at the beginning of the sentence of the text that we are matching. So if we will have a sentence that is called cats are friendly, we will get match because cat is at the beginning of the sentence. Let's start the test. We can see the test passed. Second, let's consider the case when it doesn't match. So we can see that cat with the specific dash at the beginning is created, but text is that our cats are friendly, and this is a question mark, so we can see that cat is not at the beginning of the sentence, not at the beginning of the text that we want to match. So because of that, our cat won't be matched. So we can see that here we will get matches greater than zero equals to false, so we will not get any match because the cat is not at the beginning of the sentence. So we cover the beginning matching, but also we have a regular expression specific character that is responsible for matching the end sequence. So we can see that we can use cat and dollar sign and we have sentence that this man best friend is a cat. Cat is at the end of the specific sequence. So we will get a match. So let's start the test. We can see that it passed. And when the cat is in the middle of the sentence, not at the end, we will not get any match. So let's start the test. But also as with regular expression, there is a problem if we will have a sentence with a dollar. So let's see what will happen if we have a dollar at the end. We guess that we didn't get, get much, but someone if that doesn't know that dollar has a specific meaning for regular expression may think that this is just a literal. So to interpret it as a literal, we need to, of course, and close it and quote it. So if we will quote it, then cat dollar will be matched because this is interpreted right now as the normal dollar sign, not as the specific end of the line matcher. 